was always up on my dance. The Austin Maxi does not get the credit it deserves. There, I said it. This ugly duckling of the British motoring world was something of a trailblazer. In 1969, the Maxi was the first car to be launched under the British Leyland banner following its merger with BMC. If Alec Izagonis' most famous creation, the Mini, was a watershed car in British motoring, so too did his new creation reserve a spot for itself in the record books. This was the first five-door hatchback in Britain. If you've ever looked at a Maxi and thought it looks remarkably similar to an Austin 1800 Land Crab, to save on tooling, the decision was taken to reuse the earlier car's door panels. As I was about to find out, it isn't just the Maxi's aesthetics which have remained questionable. I take it it's the Maxi first then, and you'll be driving. Well... Hmm. Okay, so tell me about the Maxi. Okay, so... Yeah, let's talk about why I wanted... Well, why I chose this car. I chose this car because my lovely old dad, rest his soul, he loved this Maxi. It was a burgundy Maxi, just like this one. Did the seatbelt work? Um, did it have seatbelt? Yeah. Probably not, to be fair. And um, I'll tell you a little story about that Maxi. So my dad did tend to be under the Maxi or under the bonnet of the Maxi, more often than not, rather than driving the Maxi. It wasn't that great. They don't have the best of reputations. They don't have the best of reputations. And it did tend to break the Maxi on a regular basis. <clears throat> So I won't bother putting your seatbelt on because in true Crabtree tradition, ah, then it. I seem to have broken the maxi. This maxi? You've <laughs> broken this maxi? <laughs> I'm really sorry. So we won't be going for a drive, but we can sit in it. I haven't driven this one. Oh, we, oh, we, oh, when you won't be driving this one. Uh, we have, I have broken the maxi. Marvellous. Yeah, so we can, sit in it and we can talk about how wonderful the dash is and how the back seat falls into a bed. What did you do? <laughs> what did I'm you trying to get do? off subject, okay? I'm, try I'm trying desperate to get off subject. I didn't do anything. I got in it. It took it. me so long to put my seatbelt <laughs> on. I got in it and I drove it. I think that's all. Crabtrees and Maxes, they, right. they obviously don't mix. Right. So... Do we know what's wrong with it? Um, I believe something, uh, yeah, something to do with the fuel pipe. Oh, mm. okay. So we maybe shouldn't try it for fear of... We could try it. Oh! Did you we, do that? Is that... We, we could try it. Is that just rubbing it in? Yeah, it is. No, we're not going to try it because I would hate for Richard's beloved Maxi to go up in flames. <laughs> I can't believe you've broken the first car we're going to drive today. <laughs> I'll try not to break any more. I can't promise that it's right. going to happen, okay. but I will do my best not okay. to break any more cars. I do think it's the Max's fault and not mine. It, you would. You would. So I'll take <laughs> this back off again and probably it won't come off. It'll probably break or something. Did your dad's Maxi have a hole behind the seats? My dad's Maxi had lots of holes everywhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was about nine when we had the Maxi and... I remember May Day, my parents driving me up to Newcastle to visit my auntie. Me and my brother sit in the back. The heater didn't work. It was freezing. It was a freezing cold day. The heater didn't work. A bit like today. A bit like today. The heater didn't work. The car only just worked. Uh, there was several holes in the floor. And I remember passing the time away by just looking through the floor at the road. That's terrifying. Yeah, pretty terrifying. When you think of that now, pretty terrifying. Yeah. But it it held good memories. You know, we had a lot of family days out in it. We never had a holiday in it because we didn't trust it to actually 
get us on holiday. I remember we had a holiday down in Somerset and we ended up hiring a, a big Volvo just for the holiday because we knew that Maxie was never going to get to Somerset. Well, obviously, I can, I can see that is a very good logic. I can't believe you've broken it. Does Richard know? Um, <clears throat> where is Richard? Because we probably should explain for anyone who uh, has been to the Great British Car Journey yeah. that this is actually one of the cars from the collection. It is. It's from the collection. It's yeah. not one of the cars that you can choose to drive, no. which is probably a good thing because if yep. it was booked out for next weekend, uh, there's going to be somebody that's disappointed. So, no, it, it remains in the collection. And I'm sure... And it will remain in the collection will, forevermore with a tray because underneath. It, because it's not going to go anywhere. No. Oh, well. Right. Sorry. Sierra. I think you're quite relieved. Well. I mean, what are your thoughts on the Maxi? I, I quite like the grill. <laughs> fully intended to be driving an Austin Maxi today, but Sarah's broken it already. Mm, seems to have broken it. It seems to be a common theme with um, me, my family and Max's. Didn't yours have a hole in the floor? Yeah, yeah, and an engine that didn't work very well. So fuel leak, disaster averted because mm. we have stopped. As you can see, work is ongoing to get filming back the underway. The boys are on it, the boys are on it. But did your dad have any other cars, Sarah? <laughs> he did, he did, he did have a Morris Marina. Let's go find a Morris Marina, just in case. Oh.